So before we get too carried away, we'll have a look at the gauge. 0.2 millimetres per linear metre, that's per graduation. Um, some nice Chinese characters. It's got a roughing bubble on it for fore and aft, but that is uh, only a roughing bubble because you can't trim it. This one here is adjustable, so what you do is you can actually zero this gauge out, or this level out. Um, it has a serial number on it. Uh, v. So, uh, yeah, look, the, the casting on it's not quite as pretty as you'd like it to be. And here. And when I got it, I did have a gremlin with it. I couldn't get it to read the same twice. And what I actually found was the bubble was only secured on one end. And uh, that gave me quite a lot of frustration. I actually did make, I actually did film my frustration and experimentation and fixing it. But unfortunately I lost the footage when a um, hard drive crashed. <coughs> so what we do is we don't work on the bed. <coughs> this is the bit we're interested in. <coughs> yep, and it's high on this side. <coughs> Excuse me. It's high on this end, and the headstock's still high. So, as good as this is, <coughs> at the moment the readings I'm getting are pretty much the same. So, what we'll do is we'll come up here <coughs> as close as we can to the headstock. The bubbles hard up against there, and the bubbles hard over to me. So what we'll do is we'll go down to the tail stock, and we'll see where the tail stock is. This would be a time where it'd be nice to be able to just disengage it, give it a push. And we have a hard bubble up against the headstock. Let's get you into a position where you can see something. So we have a hard bubble up against the headstock. <coughs> and we have a hard bu bubble up against me. So I need to go up and towards me. So what I generally try to do is work one plane at a time. Because what's going to happen is regardless of what I do, Actually, what we'll do is we'll just take you off and give you see if we can get you a look at the bubble. <clears throat> so there's the bubble. So I'll turn you off and I'll put you back on the stand. I've brought you back up here because you can see more of what I'm doing. Um, so, let's just go. Actually, I need to go up more on this side. So we'll go up on this side first, wasn't it? I'll just that way, Now we're starting to get into the ballpark.
Now I've just put pressure on these because just a little bit of pressure at the time these will change it. I should have done the other side first. <clears throat> because I want it to come towards me, I should have done the other side first. And you'd be amazed at how much that changed it. Now let's see where we are. This way. So I'm going to come this way for a bit. Just see that right here. So now what I'll do is I'll do the headstock. Now I'm too far. That's good. Okay, so I want to come back a little bit over here. What I'm after is the same reading. And now that that's... What I should be doing here is I should be using all the six. The reason for that is that what it does is it makes my readings consistent. Now, as that stands, that's within one graduation. And it's off the bubble at this end, so what we'll do what I'm doing out of shot is ever so slightly adjusting the feet at the back of the lathe. But what we might do is see is if we can give you a look at the bubble. I don't know how well you can see that, I'll find out when I edit it. So now, 
Uh, we're within one hundredth or one bubble, which is two hundredths. And what we will do is we will set that up like that. And we're high on this end again. So what we're going to do is rinse and repeat. We're going to add a fraction of height to this end. So we'll go for a bit more on the tail stock. So we're one, two, three, and we're one, two. So we're about half a bubble. So we want to go just a fraction more. So what I did was I actually, at the headstock, let's zoom out a bit, at the headstock what I did was I actually let the pressure off the headstock, the outer end of the headstock. And so the difference is, one graduation thereabouts, I think that that's close enough at this end. So what we'll do is we'll just see where we are. These bubbles take a bit to settle. So what we want to do And so now, looking around the camera, that's as close, as perfect as what I can get it. So we'll turn you off and we'll move, move the saddle down to the other end.